Hello, and um, like I said earlier, Jasmine is here with me. However, she has um, a bit of a croaky voice. So um, she will be, um, you know, she helped me put together this presentation. So and there's a lot of a Jasmine in this presentation. So um, if there are any questions at the end for Jasmine, I'm sure she can answer them for us. Um, so yes, so we were looking at the, um, the area six about um, uh, fostering students um, digital competence which is often quite a hard one so as an MEC facilitator when I see um, you know uh, the you know the course about this it's quite a difficult one to do and how to evidence it so um, I suggested to Rob and I think it was brought up in the last month that I could do something to show how Moodle and Mahara together could be used to um, facilitate you know the development of those competences so with that in mind um, so these are the ones that um, I'm talking about so it's all about um, digital literacy it's about content creation it's about collaborating in the digital space and problem solving and um, Jasmine and I put our heads together and come up with two um, activities which you are more than welcome to use yourself um, I'll share the links at the end um, it's just sort of like a framework um, I call it a Mahoodle sandwich and you'll see why at the end but um, you know feel free to take this um, remix it do whatever you want um, I'd love to see if any of you um, are using this kind of model uh, in your own practice but um, yeah here we go so the first example activity that um, we put together um, covers these two um, competencies so it's about how you guide your learners to source and evaluate online materials and how you guide your learners to be safe online so this is a, an individual activity and it's um, totally online so um, this one's designed to be uh, asynchronous however you can um, you know remix it to have say a live session at the start if you'd rather do it that way it depends on how much um, sort of support your learners need so um, so for this example um, it's an individual task and the students are asked to um, review um, some source materials all about um, credible sources online especially with regards to web questing and web research um, so this sort of knowledge transfer bit is all done in Moodle uh, the information is given to the learner um, they are then asked to complete a short quiz and this is mainly so that the learner can sort of benchmark themselves say right yeah I have understood the key concepts but it's also for the teacher to sort of see whether or not um, you know, the materials that they've um, put, put forward and for um, you know whether or not the students actually picked up the key concepts themselves. Uh, the task is then set in uh, Moodle to you know, go to Mahara and um, in Mahara the tutor has created a template and the idea is that the students can go in, edit the template and then resubmit it back to Moodle um, using the uh, Moodle assignment um, feature. So just to give you an idea of what that looks like. Um, so um, here's the page. So within a Moodle uh, Mahara group, the tutor has created this template using text blocks. And um, the idea is that they then go to the, um, the editing area and then they share it. So. Um, this is a feature that DCU actually funded and is part of Mahara Core, but it's a way of being able to push a template to an entire group of learners. So what then happens is so once this template has been pushed to the learners, the learners are then encouraged to go to Mahara where they have um, this template. Now with the newest version of Mahara, um, we have this feature where you can add instructions to each text block. Okay, so um, what this uh, GIF is demonstrating that you can so we'll see the instructions for each different area. There's also this new feature called quick edit. So this is a way of sort of templating, um, uh, you know, like an activity where they can just quickly go in, edit a particular area in their Mahara page and just input their text. So before you'd have to edit the entire page, uh, this time you just edit different text box and um, add your own content. Now, this, um, this activity could just be done purely in Moodle using the assignment tool. However, um, you know, in this demonstration, the idea is that you know, the, um, each question is clearly separated. The student clearly has two areas to respond to. But also because it is a Mahara page, if they wanted to, they could add in extra resources. So they could embed video, they could um, respond um, in any way that they want. It's just that the text blocks are there as their sort of starter. And so, like I said, so they've done this, they've updated their page, and then they can just submit it to Moodle via the Moodle assignment tool. So those of you that um, have the um, Mahara assignment uh, plugin, you know that as well as files and online text, you can actually select uh, Mahara as a choice to submit. 
Okay, so this is sort of one uh, example of what you can do. The second example is for group work. Now, group work is something that um, I was uh, quite a champion of uh, with Mahara at my previous um, job at the Defence Academy, where it was postgraduate students working together um, on problem-based learning. They were given a problem to solve and they used their Mahara portfolios to create a response, but also used it to track the progress along the way. So this activity that Jasmine and I worked together on um, designing is all about the digital communication collaboration. It's all about digital content creation and problem solving. And um, as a tutor, um, it's a really good way of, sort of facilitating those skills, but in a safe environment, because they're using institutional tools like Moodle and Mahara to um, you know, collate all these ideas. So again, using the Moodle sandwich, and I'm going to um, copyright that, um, you use your Moodle page as the sort of platform to um, present the information, to pose the questions. So as you can see here, the knowledge transfer bit. So um, we've given them a Moodle page with instructions and they've been given uh, access to further reading. And the whole idea is that in groups, um, these learners are going to create a digital interactive poster for Safer Internet Day. OK, so they've been given information about Safer Internet Day and they're asked to go to Mahara and work together in their groups to build a page. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like in a second. So once they've gone to Mahara and they've created their page, they then come back to Moodle. And as you can see, there's a forum activity down here where they're asked to share a link to the digital poster and comment on each other's. So it's actually part of the completion tracking. They have to put two posts in there. But also they're given an individual assignment um, task where they have to reflect on why we need Safer Internet Day. So it's a mixture of group work and self-reflection. So again, just to show you how this works in uh, Mahara. So um, if you haven't seen it already, so this is a typical controlled Mahara group. Um, you have your members here at the bottom. The tutor has set up um, the instructions. They've actually included a link to the big blue button here. So regardless of what um, sort of project management methodology they use, they always have a room for like a live session. So if they want to have daily stand-ups like in the morning, so get together and review the content and plan the rest of the day, they can use the big blue button link to do that. Um, they also have the other tools that you can um, use in a Mahara group, such as the forums and um, the journal tool, if they were to keep notes locked away. They have a shared files area so they can upload resources there and the planning tool if they want to use it. And then on the sort of, I guess, home page of the group, they have the latest forum and posts there and um, a link to the poster, which they can all edit. So again, using Mahara, there's all these different tools that um, they could use to collaborate, communicate, plan, collect, you know, all things that could be done in Moodle as well. So, you know, you could assign them a forum each, you know, use uh, group based visibility on forums. Um, you can give them a wiki, you can give them all sorts of tools um, in Moodle. So if you don't have Mahara, you can still do this activity. It may not be, um, you know, a, a, a visually appealing posts that they create but then again you could link into something like if you have microsoft office or google they can collaborate on you know a poster that way so just to show you um in the group so the tutor would have created a um, template so here they are so this is using a um, placeholder block which is another dcu initiative where um, as a tutor you put placeholders um, along the page and the idea is that instead of saying right here you put some text here you put an image here you put a video it's up to the learners to decide how they want to um, present themselves how they want to present the content so instead of the tutor sort of driving the narrative it's all down to the students to express themselves how they want to and so when a student um, flicks into um, edit mode as you can see they have the full power to configure the block however they want and I have a little GIF here to show you how it works. So any, if you have editing rights to a page, you have the block here, you know you have to share a reflection on the task. And then as a learner, you can then decide how you want to share your reflection. So it could be an image, it could be a video. But in this case, the learner wants to um, share a journal entry that they wrote at that time, just to share how they were feeling. Um, so it's quite a clever block. Um, it's, I think it's been there for about 18 months, two years now, and I really, really love it. A really, really great feature. So thank you, DCU and Lisa. 
So again, um, so like I said, you give the information to the learners, they go off to Mahara, they do their thing, and then they present their workings out in Moodle, um, as it should, because Moodle is the um, sort of the platform um, to sort of collate all the learning activity. They're asked to um, share their post through the forum and uh, submit their um, individual account. And, you know, just, just to show how the forum could work. So uh, as a tutor, um, there's four groups. So I've just pinned four um, discussion, discussion threads um, to the forum. And I've also gone into the permissions and removed the ability for students to start a new discussion. So it kind of keeps it tidy and keeps it focused on each thread. So there are two different activities. Feel free to use them. Um, you know, again, this is my Mahoodle sandwich idea, you know, going with the Moodle Munch buffet, you know, so Moodle is your sort of platform um, to give out instructions and offer supporting materials. Mahara is the place where the students um, create their presentation, they show their workings out, they show their finished products and the steps and journey they got there, how they got there. And then they go back to Moodle and that's where the assessment and feedback happens, you know, either amongst um, their peers or with their tutor. So I've put here, using Moodle as the bread and Mahara as the filling, you can make a great Bahoodle sandwich. And I thoroughly stand by that. So these two activities, they fit really, really nicely in um, area six, but you can see it just, it can slot in and meet so many different competencies in the framework. And, um, you, know, you know, it's, uh, this framework is, is such a fantastic thing to have. And um, every Moodle Munch that I've gone to, it's really, really good to see how people have looked at the framework and demonstrated how these uh, competencies, you know, have empowered their learners and have empowered um, the lecturers and learning technologists themselves. So I think that is the end. Yes, so that is the end. Um, be really inter interesting to hear your thoughts. And I don't know if Jasmine has any voice left that she'd want to make any comments but um yeah let us know if you um do something similar or um would like to do something similar 